In this video, we will solve four simple logarithmic equations, and before we start, let's review the definition of a logarithm. A logarithm is the exponent to which the base b must be raised to obtain the result x. So, in the equation log base b of x equals y, b represents the base, y represents the exponent, and x represents the result. It is important to remember that in a logarithm the base has to be positive and not equal to 1, and the result has to be positive. An example of a logarithmic equation can be log base 3 of 9 equals 2. In this equation, the base 3 raised to exponent 2 equals the result 9. We can write this logarithmic equation in exponential form, and this will be 3 to the second power equals 9. So here we have a logarithmic equation, and this is the exponential form. Now we can start solving the first example. So here we will solve the logarithmic equation log base 4 of x equals negative 3. In this equation, we know the base and the exponent, and we have to find the result. To solve this equation, it will be convenient to rewrite it in exponential form. That is, the base 4 raised to exponent negative 3 equals the result x. To evaluate 4 to the negative third power, we will move 4 down to the denominator, and we will make the exponent positive. 4 to the third power is 64, then we can write that x equals 1 over 64. So the solution is 1 over 64. Now let's move to the next example. Here we will solve the equation log base x of 25 equals 2. In this equation, we know the exponent and the result, and we need to find the base. First, we will write it in exponential form, that is, the base x raised to exponent 2 equals the result 25. Now, according to the square root property, x equals plus or minus square root of 25. Then x equals 5, or x equals negative 5. So 5 to the second power is 25, and negative 5 to the second power is also 25. However, recall that in a logarithm, the base has to be positive and not equal to 1. Therefore, negative 5 is not a solution to this equation. Then the only solution we have is positive 5. In the next example, we will solve the equation log base 3 of 2x minus 5 equals 4. We will start by rewriting this equation in exponential form. That will be 3 to the 4th power equals the result 2x minus 5. 3 to the 4th power is 81, so 81 equals 2x minus 5. Now let's add 5 to both sides. Then 86 equals 2x. And to solve for x, we will divide both sides by 2. Then x equals 43. So the solution is 43. In the last example, we will solve the equation 5 minus log base 2 of 6 minus x equals 8. On the left side of this equation, we have two terms. The first one is 5, and the second term is negative log base 2 of 6 minus x. We will need to isolate the logarithmic term on one side, therefore we will subtract 5 from both sides. Then on the left side we will have negative log base 2 of 6 minus x equals 3. Now, because of this negative sign we have in front of the logarithm, we will divide both sides by negative 1. So we will divide the left side by negative 1, 
and the right side by negative 1. Then on the left side, because negative divided by negative is positive, we will have log base 2 of 6 minus x, and on the right side, 3 divided by negative 1 is negative 3. Once we have the logarithm isolated on one side, we will rewrite it in exponential form. That will be the base 2 raised to exponent negative 3 equals the result 6 minus x. On the left side, 2 to the negative third power is 1 over 2 to the positive third power, and on the right side, 6 minus x. Then because 1 over 2 to the third power is 1 over 8, 1 over 8 equals 6 minus x. Then if we add x to both sides and subtract 1 over 8 from both sides, we will have the following. x equals 6 minus 1 over 8. Then 6 minus 1 over 8 is 5 and 7 over 8. And if we want to write this mixed number as an improper fraction, then 5 times 8 is 40, 40 plus 7 is 47. Then x will be equal to 47 over 8. So the solution to this equation is 47 over 8. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, leave a comment, and thank you for watching.